Hi, my name is Kimberly Skippers and I'm 14 years old. I became a Christian last year when I, when I attended a 180D youth camp sleepover. Um, we learned what it meant to be a Christian and that's when I realized I needed Jesus in my life. I was brought up in a Christian home and for 13 years I professed to be a Christian um, and preached to all those who weren't. But I myself looked for attention, wanted to be popular, I said mean and nasty things to people, I swore and was in love with the world. About 18 months ago, Jesus started working in my life, but I still resisted, even though I introduced myself as a Christian. When we got to New Zealand, um, God led us to HBC. We are soon got involved in 180D. It was loads of fun, but I never wanted to change myself. So every evening, I would go home and live my ungodly life. At 180D, the girls were reading Lies Young Women Believe. We had homework to do for the week, but I would lie and make excuses for why I didn't do my homework. But after the weekend sleepover, I finally responded to God's call. We now look forward to, looking, um, to spending time with God's word. I felt that spending time with him, God was talking to me, changing me. Once I'd accepted Jesus as my savior, I didn't want to be doing all those things anymore. When I sinned or said something wrong, I felt sick and my heart pounded. God was telling me that this was a sin and what I was doing was wrong. My walk in Christ has been awesome for the last five months. I've walked closely with Jesus and I know that he will be with me through all things, even when I stumble. So here I am today testifying that I've accepted Jesus as my own personal saviour and I'm being baptised commanded, as commanded in God's word. Mm. Thank you. When I hear that testimony, Kim, I think of uh, Paul's words, uh, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, behold, new things have come. There's a big difference between being... Um, religious and being born again, isn't there? There's a big, big difference, and it's wonderful to see and hear this difference in your life. Kim, based on your confession of faith in Christ as Lord, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.